today was a very trying day. Um, basically, um, there's these things, these, these tablets that people bring in that, that uh, okay, I work in two locations. I think I've said that before. One location I do networking, a location I do programming. Um, the one with the programming, the, some of the people there have these tablets that, I, that are, have to be set up. So, somebody brought one in today, and he, me, okay, and what these do is these people cover these regions, and they only have the maps and stuff for that region. Well, this guy's going to be covering for somebody else, and I was, try and was trying to, I, I loaded the maps on it, but there's these little markers that are supposed to load onto it also. And they wouldn't load in because it uses a database to do it. And they just wouldn't load in. Well, the person, the people that's supposed to be there, because like, I've only been to that location, that today's the fourth day. And I haven't had any training. I haven't had anything. Um, basically, they, I, I was like, okay, here's the database. Here's a document on how to set up a new tablet. And um, this other guy here, he'll, he'll help you. He hasn't been there for the first day. I still don't have access to anything. I worked on this thing for quite a few hours. Couldn't get it to work. And just tried every possible combination I could think of. Did I hear Thor bark? Thought I did, but never mind. But yeah, it's just a bad day. So basically that was the majority of my day doing working on that and I just didn't like it. Um, and it's not that oh it's a difficult thing, it's just that the people that are supposed to be there to help, they're not there. The training I'm supposed to have, I've never got. The training that I that literally is like all these documentation like, oh it's documented really well. Okay. And the code that's written is um, they're trying to do so, okay this is all done in, a lot of this stuff's done in access front end and it's really too much for that I think starting out it was okay but they just kept adding on to it over time and it really needs to be redone into like a, into something else besides this access front end and it's just oh gosh um but anyways, sorry, that was just a big rant about this today and just frustrations that it seems like you think they want somebody there to to actually train you. But I've got really sleepy there. My eyes start like just got really blurry. <laughs> I hate when that happens. But um, let's see here. Is my camera flashing red? No, it's not. There must be, I think I have a red, okay, yeah, it's that box up there. I think, okay, so that's that shelf. It's a white thing there. Yeah, okay. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a Stratos box and a Stratos here and a Rector Lotus War box up here. And with a red, they, it's right where the battery icon is on my camera. And so my battery is about to die on my camera, it turns red. And these boxes being right behind it make it look like it's red. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, um, don't you slow it? I, I I can't think anymore. So, the weekend, got a three day weekend, which is awesome. Holy cow, love that. Um, I'm actually tomorrow. I'm going to go play board games with my friends. We're going to play Risk Legacy. Uh, I understand people to say all the time, Risk is the how to lose friends, but Risk Legacy is a little bit different. It's uh, basically, the game changes as you play it. Um, the winner of the game gets to pick a location on the map, and only he can start there, because you actually put a sticker on it with that, that person's name, and whatever, he, he has to name it something. So it's awesome. I, and I've played one time, like when you open the box, um, you write on the back of the board the people that were there with you when you opened the box. So. As, as you every time you play it the game um, 
changes. So when and I think you can play like eight or nine times before you got everything done, and it's kind of locked into its final state. And everybody's is different. Well, not everybody's because there's only so many combinations. But if I play on some else's board that's played Risk Legacy a bunch, the, like if I've won a game on the board with my with, with my friend tomorrow, and then I go play somebody else, well, that location that I won isn't on their board. So it's like one of those things to where you want your own copy so that you can see because it. I like it because it gives us like memories of your gaming. Like, wow, we played this game here, and this is how. And you could kind of like do like a like a story with it. Like, okay, the end of these wars here. This is he set up base here. This guy set up base here, and they expanded and did all this other stuff. So, like, if you really wanted to, you could actually um, make it to where only you could. Don't, like, nobody else could start in the purples. The I can't remember the name of the Atlantis. I always call them the purples, like the ones that are like kind of like. There's only one way in. And um, like you, only you can start. Like it's it's crazy. I, I really like it. I need to get a copy of it, but it's just for some whatever reason I haven't. But anyways, that's gonna be fun. Um, Adrian, I think he might have a sore throat, so he had a little bit of trouble falling asleep tonight. If he if he wakes up, I'm gonna just give him. Last night I gave him some ibuprofen, and he fell off to sleep, and he slept really well. Um, so I'm probably going to give some more of him to, um, if He's already asleep right now. If he wakes up, I might give him some. Because I, I don't really want to, like, just keep, like, I don't, I don't I understand if he's sick, you've got to get medicine, stuff like that. But if he's not really hurting, like if, it, if, it's, like if he has a sore throat and it's, like, maybe a little irritant, irritated, Okay, it's not a big it's not a big deal, but I don't want to keep just pumping ibuprofen into him. I know that's kind of a weird thing to say, but I don't know. Like I don't get me wrong, I'm not a, the person that's like, oh, you can't take your kids to the hospital or anything. No, if you're sick, go to the hospital. If you need medicine, take the medicine. I'm all for that. All modern medicine is great, but I do I don't want to just. Um, there's there, what's the name of the movie? It's got the the fat boys in it and I mean the rap group the fat boys um, I think orderlies I think that's the name of the movie um, basically they become orderlies for this old man and he's pretty much like almost catatonic he has this, he has this machine he has so he takes so many pills he has this machine that dispenses them for him and um, they get the bright idea that they're going to um, play poker with this guy so he has so many pills they play they use the pills as poker chips and um, they have to, and they have to. The, I think somebody comes in, and so that they make it look like they're not, they're not goofing off. They uh, put all the pills into, like they put basically take all the cards and pills and everything, put them to a garbage bag, and they hide it in this drawer. They don't realize it, but that's the trash compactor. And then they open the drawer up, and it's all the pills are destroyed. Well, this old man, I mean, he doesn't have his pills now, and um, he basically. He had, um, gosh, my brain went blank. What it was is he kept, he was taking so many pills that they, they thought he died because he, but he fell asleep and just wouldn't wake up. And then when he woke up, he was like moving around and running like better because what happened is he, he, he originally just had something really small. He took it, so he took, they got medicine for it. Well, the side effect, he went back for it and they gave him another pill. Well, this pill had side effects. We so went back in for that side effect. And it's just, he just kept taking more and more pills for all the side effects. And then, when they messed up, basically they almost pretty, pretty much cured him. And it was, it's it's a really good movie. It's really funny. It's from the '80s. Um, I'm a, I like the rap the rap group, the Fat Boys. I liked some of their music. They did a song up with Freddy Krueger. Not I think it's called Nightmare. No, that's Fresh Prince, Nightmare on My Street. Uh, I can't remember. Look up Fat Boys and Freddy Krueger and not for Fat Boys and Nightmare on Elm Street. It's a pretty good song it's a it's an 80s rap song so like if you like to kid and play and um I'm trying to think of some other rap groups that like that you know it's kid and play the fat boys and i don't remember but yeah they, they, that kind of that vein of rap because kind of like a really r&b um i can't remember new edition maybe and eh, no they're more r&b anyways um i on a tangent again so yeah medicine i'm not a big fan of just of 
pumping all these medicines into it. Only take what you need, kind of thing. Also, I think it's funny when you watch the commercials for some medicine. It's like this, like you have some weird thing. And it's like it's something small, and they tell you the side effects. And like if you have, if you develop a rash, contact your doctor immediately for like a very serious um, uh, reaction to it. And it's like, holy cow, the side effects are worse than what you're trying to get rid of. And I'm just like, ah, forget it. <laughs> but anyways, um, so yeah, that's the reason why I don't, I, I didn't just give that Adrian the ibuprofen because he, he wasn't, he ate good. He wasn't seemed to be um, fussy or anything. He just didn't want to go to sleep. So that's the reason. And honestly, then giving medicine to a kid like that age will almost put him to sleep. And I don't want to, um, I've known some people when I was younger like as a teenager, I'd noticed that their parent, like if they have a young child, they always give them Tylenol a lot. And I'm like, why are they giving them so much Tylenol? Because I, like, I remember one time, some like one of my aunts asked him, I was like, is your, does they have a fever or something? I'm like, no. And what come to find out they were doing is that when they gave their kid Tylenol, it got sleepy and would go, would sleep, would go to sleep. And it was like, they were just basically doing it as a sleep aid. And I'm like, oh. It's just so stupid. But anyways, okay, sorry. That was a very long tirade into medicine. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, I had something. Chloe seems to be getting better. Uh, she just, She's not uh, squatting and staying squatted so long. So that's really good. Um, I, she still, I mean, she still has about five more days or six more days of the medicine to take for her computer for the full run of the antibiotics. Um, I just talk about tired of medicine. I talk about how I'm giving my dog medicine. <laughs> but she does need it because she does have a urinary tract infection. Uh, if this doesn't fix it, we'll probably take her in to see if she might have some stone, like kidney stones or something. Uh, or so, if there's something else wrong. I hope that's all it is because it makes me, you know, like I've said before, I feel really bad when my dog's sick. Um, uh, oh, Nintendo Switch. That's what it was. I was thinking, like, what was it? It's gaming something. Yes, the big Nintendo Switch thing. I watched that. Kind of boring, in all honesty. But it, it, it was basically the executives showing other business people the new product. And they just televised it because people wanted to see it. Um, I love it. I think it's an awesome thing, an idea. Uh, I'm a big fan of Nintendo. I have almost every Nintendo console that's been re ever been released. The only thing I don't have is the Virtual Boy. I mean, I actually in my pocket I have a Game Boy Micro. I love this thing. I play it a lot. That's the reason why I, I carried around my my son's old socks because <laughs> uh, I bought. I, I I wish I bought one of these when they were new. I didn't. This is the one I bought when it was used. Um, I really like it. It's a really good size to put in your pocket. I mean, the, the Game Boy Advance games, I mean, they're kind of big. I mean, considering when you think about the 3DS or the DS or Vita games, these are gigantic for a portable system. And, um, but I mean, the games, though, they're really good. Like, I got a game in this, which I'm not telling you what it is because that's a new one I've been playing. And I've got like a Castlevania. Uh, Curse of the Moon, been playing that a lot. It's awesome. I mean, but two games you, you think growing up, I mean, I would it with my Game Boy, which I still have sitting right here. I mean, think about this original Game Boy, <laughs> Game Boy Micro. I mean. This thing's a little bit wider than the Game Boy, but it is so much smaller, and this thing is so much power, more powerful. And this thing took four double A's. Yeah, four freaking double A's. I mean, I think the four double A's are bigger than this. <laughs> so yeah, that's. So I have, like I said, I love Nintendo stuff. 
my ear, my uh, sinus are stopped up, my ears are starting to itch. <sighs> Drives me crazy. But Nintendo Switch, the idea of the, I bet, hmm, because I was wondering how big the controllers would be, the um, Joy Cons, the joysticks. Oh, drop that sock. I saw by thinking, I wonder if they're this size. I mean, that's maybe a little bit smaller. I thought, I was, I was thinking when I watched the thing, those buttons aren't really, they're kind of weird. But I'm like, well, wait a minute, this thing's got the buttons on top. And I'm like, mm, I think it'd be okay. I mean, the way, I mean, don't get me wrong, holding this thing does hurt your hands. But it's like one of those things, okay, you're sacrificing. Um, my camera is shut, blinking right now. But you're sacrificing um, comfort for the portability. But Nintendo Switch looks awesome. The games look really cool. Atlas is developing a game for it. I can't wait to see that. I love Atlas games. But we'll have to see. 3 3 17. I think it's March 3rd, yeah. So I'm going to try to pre order one. I really want to get one because I think it's going to be awesome. I'll play the crap out of it. I will probably take that thing everywhere. But if you guys like it or if you didn't like it, let me know because I actually kind of want to know. I want to see what other people's opinions of it are. But talk to everybody later. I have. I don't think I'll be recording any board gaming stuff tomorrow because most of the people I think are coming don't want to be on camera. If they do want to be, I might bring, I might show a little bit, like some board stat, states and stuff like that that we're playing. But, um, went into here because my camera's about to die. And, talk to you tomorrow.